Hey, have you experienced the biggest line history of Minecraft? You see this portal? Cool, right? So you decide to trade at the old world and... What? It doesn't work? Then you try to search it online and found out it's a mod. What's a mod and how do I install it? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to TextTrain. Hello everyone and today I will show you how to spice up your Minecraft experience using mods. For this video I'll be showing you how to install your favorite mods in Minecraft using Forge. And yes, this will work with any version of Minecraft and it's really easy to do. Let's go! Hello, welcome back to my desktop. Yes, still ugly. Get over it. So the first step is just like last time, you must own Minecraft. If you don't have it, then just go to the website right now. I'll put the link in the description and just go buy it. I mean $30, but it's worth it, man. So after you own Minecraft, all you need to do is open up your browser of choice and then type Forge files. As a third, click the first link and then pick the Minecraft version of your choice. I'll be using 1.12.2 because it's the most stable for modding. After that, just download the latest installer. And then you have to wait a bit and then click skip. After that, just download it and wait a while because my Wi-Fi is so slow. After you're done, just click on it and make sure it's on install client. After that, just check for your Minecraft directory and just click install. After it's done, you're good to go. And now just launch your Minecraft and then choose the Forge profile or you can just use your own. After that, choose the version that you installed. Click OK and then launch the game. After that, you'll see a new loading screen and let it load. After you're in the main menu, you'll see a new tab called mods. Here you'll find all your installed mods. As you can see, Forge is installed. And then just quit the game. After that, go to edit profile and open game directory. There you'll find a new folder called mods. As you can see, it's empty. This will be the place where you install your mods. To find some mods, all you need to do is search Minecraft mods. And then go to Quartz Forge. There you can find all mods that you can play. Here I'll be using Biomo Plenty for example. All you need to do is go to files and go to the versions. And then you can pick your version of choice. After that, just click download. And here you go, just wait. After it's done, your mod should look like this. Just drag it to the mods folder. And there you go, it's installed. After you've downloaded all your mods and installed them in the folder, all you need to do is launch the game. As you can see, the loading screen is much longer now because all the mods. After you're downloading, you're now in the main menu. And as you can see, there's a lot of mods. You can check on the mods tab to see it. After that, just go to single player and create a new world. Since I got Biomo Plenty, I will change the world type. And then click create. This might take a long time because of the mod. And there you go, it finished. From all the pop-ups and the brand new biome from Biome Plenty, I think the mods are installed correctly. And there's even a battle tower with its column. Oops, let's try to punch it to make sure it's real. And there you go, as you can see, the mods are fully working. Now you can just play around with your mods. Whoa, look at these new mobs. So that's the end of this video. I hope this video can help you understand how to install your favorite mods in Minecraft, like Aether, or Spawn, Defender, PG, and etc. Have fun, boys! So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you want more of these tutorials. I'm Harris from TechCrash and come back next week for more knowledge about tech or game. Alright, see ya!